Hey everybody, welcome to the Creativity Cave. I'm Dina Rico and I'm so excited to stamp with you today because I am going to show you this gorgeous card that features two fabulous project, or products. One is washi tape, which you can see is right here, and the other is Stampin' Blends, which I used to color in this gorgeous flower. And of course I added some highlights with some clear wink of Stella. So let me show you how to get this made. It's actually quite simple. First of all, I'm using our new Stampin' Blends markers. These are so amazing, and I'm really, 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 really excited about them because I love these markers. They work amazing. They make you color like a professional, and you don't have to be, which is super cool. And um, they just give you such amazing results. So I'm very excited about them. And this product launches in just a few days next week. I already have put together a amazing online class for them. And I will have the details in the description of this video. So check that out. There'll be a link to register. And I truly am just so excited about this. So let's get started first of all i'm using some ultra thick white cardstock i actually already folded my base because i was excited and i've got a scrap here um because I, I see i have a little schmutz on it so this is perfect to use as a scrap piece now i want to place something to protect my work surface because these do blend or bleed a little bit even on the ultra thick cardstock i'll show you um, what that looks like. Whenever you're using alcohol-based markers, you, you need to stamp your image with memento ink so that the markers don't bleed Part, when, when you color with them, I should say. Okay, so I'm just going to ink up my image here in my black ink and stamp it on my scrap of cardstock. And when I go to create this card, I am going to, of course, color in the flower and cut it out. But then I also want some of the leaves here to create, to add to the, add the leaves to my card. So I'm going to want both of those pieces. Now, whenever you stamp, um, I actually recently re-inked my Memento pad. So I just want to make sure this is actually dry before I start coloring because it can smear if it's not dry. Typically it is though. I always like starting with the darker colors first. So I'm going to use pumpkin pie in this case and there's a dark pumpkin and a light pumpkin so I'll go with start with the dark and if you look on my sample you can see the base of each petal is darker and then the tip is lighter. So darker down here, lighter up here and I'll just kind of start with that process. So I'm just going to go over this a little bit on each petal and sometimes I like to kind of work in sections so that I don't get too overwhelmed. I also think they blend a little better when the ink is fresher. Okay so then I'm going to go over this part with my light color and I'm going to go over the area I just colored so you can see it takes a nice blending on that border when you go over the two markers. Do you see that? So that is the beauty of these markers. So light at the tip and then I just kind of blend it out and it creates this gorgeous, gorgeous effect that makes you appear as though you are indeed a professional colorist. So I'll continue going on and actually when I come back I can even add a little bit more color just to kind of add highlights to this but again it's so 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 pretty so it does take a little while to color in images such as this but I really enjoy coloring I actually um over the weekend, I sat on the couch and just, I had stamped a bunch of um, line images in Memento ink and I brought them up and I have a little, like a lap board kind of thing. So I sat um, on the couch while we watched a movie as a family and I colored because I'm kind of to the point in life where I need to do something. <laughs> I can't just sit there. I mean, that's just like wasted time. <laughs> So I like having a little something to do. 
and um, this was perfect. Okay, so again, I'm just going and filling in the lighter areas and then blending down so that the the kind of marker line between the two, the darker and the lighter, blends out and it looks just perfect. The other thing we're going to come back and do in just a minute is we're going to use the color lifter to create a little bit uh, more definition and really accent the light areas. And I think the other thing I would say is with these markers, if you don't feel comfortable with them, definitely give them a little practice. Just like I suggest, stamp out a bunch of images and just practice coloring. You might really surprise yourself with how easy it becomes to color. Okay, so so far I think this looks pretty good. But let's take it to the next level. We're going to add our color lifter. So this is just clear ink and um, we'll lighten up the very tips of our flower petals. And I think the color lifter is kind of funny because you sort of have to put some color or the put the color lifter on the tips and then it takes just a second for that difference to kind of pop. But it usually does pop and it's pretty cool. I love using it. And um, I don't know if you can really start to see this, but it definitely has popped up several areas. I saw a spot I missed, so I'll color that in. But again, um, I like it. Now, when we, we used to carry Stampin' Blends a few years ago, and what I loved... Um, what I loved about those was there were three colors, but it was also kind of intimidating to deal with the three colors, you know, coloring everything. And so this time we just have two colors, but I think when you add the color lifter, you kind of get your third color automatically, so it's a little bit easier. Now one thing I will say is, of course, when you're not using the Stampin' Blends, you definitely want to keep the um, the cap on your blend so that it doesn't dry out because these are alcohol based markers so they will dry out quicker than a typical marker would. Okay so now I'm going to color my leaf and I'll probably just do all three because then I'll have them should I need them. So I did the darker color now I'm going to go on top with the lighter color. So I do kind of like the simplicity of there just being two shades versus the three. I think that is actually kind of helpful, especially for people who are just getting started with blends. Um, if you're not comfortable with the shading techniques, um, it definitely helps to have a little less <laughs> to contend with as far as coloring options. And I'm just going to do one last little bit right there. Okay, so now um, the last thing I want to do is I want to color that center of my flower and I would like for it to, to be black. So I'm going to just grab my regular Stampin' Write marker and I'll probably use the thin end and I'm just literally coloring in those spots. This, these are stamen and I'm just filling those in to really make it a nice striking center. You lose a little bit of the definition here, but it's not bad. Okay. The last thing I'm going to do is take and trim this out. This will take a second because <laughs> this is definitely fussy cutting. Now one thing I'm going to show you on here is I, I mentioned at the beginning or at some point that I did just re-ink my pad and I'm seeing some bleeding and I believe that is because I did not, I was not patient enough and waited for these to dry. Um, if you look at my original it's a little bit more crisp than this. You can see the feathering kind of right in here and right in here. If you are experiencing that, it's all a matter of being patient. 
Now you can see this is the back side of my thick cardstock and it does show through. So if you were going to do just a one layer card, um, obviously this was pop stamp cut out and popped up, you would want to make sure you um, don't stamp on the, that one layer. Okay, now on this I normally say leave a border, but on in this one I'm going to say you want to cut right on that black line because I think it'll look better. Because the way we have done this, we don't need or want any extra showing. And if I went outside of the lines, then it'll definitely be noticeable, especially with the little bit of feathering that I have going on here. So I do want to cut right on that line. Now I'm going to cut and then speed this up so you don't have to watch the whole process. <laughs> Okay, by the way, you might have noticed that I held my scissors pretty much in one spot and then I moved the cardstock around as I cut, and that helps me control my cutting, I think, a little bit better. At least um, that's what I've always done, and it seems to work. So I will also say that I just took my glasses off so I could see what I was doing. I will not bow down to the pressure of bifocals. I just won't. <laughs> I'm too young. Okay. <laughs> So I've got my card base, and to put this together, it really couldn't be easier. I'm going to just take a little bit of washi tape. This is from, I want to say, Pick a Pattern Washi. It's just the black version of washi tape, and I love it because it's, it's really uh, bold and bright. There's several patterns in there, which are kind of awesome. I'm going to take and pop up my beautiful flower by the way this is from the stamp set you've got this at least i think that's what that set is called <laughs> um i'm pretty sure it's possible let me look i think it's sitting right here yes you've got this oh, not bad all right so i put a couple of dimensionals on here and then i will also put my leaf with a little pop dot and just tuck that in right under there so pretty of course we're going to really make this sing by putting on some uh, of our gorgeous wink of Stella I love adding shimmer to projects with the wink of Stella it's just so pretty and it just makes everything I mean everything that sparkles is better right for sure it is so there we go I've got my wink of Stella on and then last but not least, I just need to add a sentiment to my card. And I've got congratulations. I believe I took that from tag tabs and everything. Uh, tabs for everything, pardon me. I want, um, I think I'm going to use something different. Maybe happy birthday. I'm going to take happy birthday. Well, this might not fit. Nope. Never mind, kidding. Um, let's see. Gosh, I'm so sorry I'm having trouble finding what I want. I'm sort of looking for a thank you and for some, oh, here we go, gosh. All things thanks, I always need thank you cards. I send out a lot of thank you cards each month. So that is something I'm always needing. I'll just grab a block and of course I'll stamp this in black as well. 
and there we go. Isn't that cute? So thank you so much for watching today. Of course, if you would like to get the online class for this, I have three options. There's just tutorials, there's cardstock, or there's even um, bundles that include the markers in the bundle. So definitely check that out. The link is in the description. You'll just need to go below the video to see that. And of course, all the information for this card is on my blog post, including all the supplies I used. So you can check that out on my blog as well. Thanks so much for stamping with me today, guys. I sure appreciate your support and of course would uh, appreciate your orders. They help me bring more awesome videos just like this one to you each week. Thanks guys. Bye.